Hey guys, Bicep Bump here. Today, bringing you a quick video on my top five mistakes I see on Holy DKs doing both Raid and Mythic Plus. I generally look at quite a lot of people's logs, try to help them out, and I see a lot of mistakes that show up many, many times. And the thing is, these mistakes are quite significant, so fixing them will increase your DPS significantly. We're gonna Take a look at every one of those five mistakes, talk about why they happen and how we prevent them. First of all, I see frequent cooldowns that aren't aligned properly. This is generally uh, Unholy Blight and Dark Transformation. The thing with those, you should always use them together, okay? The reason is that they buff each other and they align almost perfectly anyway. You know, Death Call reduces the cooldown Dark Transformation. So even though it's a one minute cooldown, it comes up at like between 45 and 50 seconds. But yeah, always align those two. Uh, I also see some people that uh, align, hold these two cooldowns for Apocalypse. This is something you generally shouldn't do. Generally, use Apocalypse on its own without aligning it with anything else. The only time you would actually hold both in Holy Blight and Dark Transformation for Apocalypse is if you both are running Army of the Damned and you have a Convocation of the Dead Conduit at 200 plus eye level. Other than that, what generally happens is that you just use Apocalypse on its own or you hold Apocalypse for a couple seconds to use with Dark Transformation and Holy Blight. Second big mistake is that Soul Reaper isn't used as much as it should be. Soul Reaper is a huge amount of damage for a single GCD and a single rune. And this makes it a, an extremely high priority to use as soon as it comes up. What you need to do is both save the rune for Soul Reaper and save the GCD. Okay? So, if in the execute phase you're using Soul Reaper, don't go down to zero runes. Always save one to use with Soul Reaper. Also, if Soul Reaper is something like one second before it comes off cooldown, don't press anything else. It's fine to wait that one second for Soul Reaper so to get a little bit more of them into the fight. Furthermore, quite a lot of bosses have like adds or other uh, or the boss itself that go down below 35% HP before the end of the fight. On before the end of the fight, this happens with Huntsman. It happens with Inerva. Those kind of fights. It's very important to actually leverage Soul Reaper throughout the fight. For Huntsman, you use Soul Reaper on the ad that goes as soon as it goes below 35% health. On other bosses, you would try, try and snipe a Soul Reaper usage on the ads themselves. Cool. Third mistake I see is that the opener is simply wrong. This is a very easy mistake to sort out because there are multiple openers that are completely fine to use and which will give you a lot of damage if you're using the wrong one. Generally, what I see happen is that Army of the Dead is used too late in the opener. Do you want to use Army of the Dead quickly, probably the first GCD as you run into the fight, and then use your other cooldowns afterwards, you know? Army of the Dead takes four and a half seconds to actually get going. The mobs are stunned when they summon them. So you don't want to use Unholy Blight until a couple seconds after Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead lasts for 30 seconds, Unholy Blight for 20 to get full over overlap. You can use Blight up to 10 seconds after Army of the Dead. But yeah, just make sure you read up on an opener. You can find one in my guide. You can find one in the Unholy fact on the uh, Aqua Discord. So have a look there and just follow one of those. Fourth mistake I see is that the, the second use of Army of the Dead isn't properly used with your other cooldowns. For a lot of fights, you will only get two armies. The fight is simply not long enough to get three. What that means is that the second use of army, we can have, we can play around with that quite a lot. We can hold it for when we want to use it in a fight. So, army comes up, and you know, boss is like twenty percent HP, or there's like one or two minutes left of the fight. Hold army until you can use it with blight and dark transformation. Okay. Also, you need to figure out, you know, when is your uh, raid going to bloodlust? If bloodlust happens late in the fight, you need to hold army and your other cooldowns for that as well. 
But yeah, do not hesitate to hold army for, you know, almost a minute as long as you get the full 30 seconds of it used on the boss. If the boss is just about to die, obviously use armor then, but generally always align the second use with your other cooldowns. It's a significant DPS increase. Finally, error number five is that I don't see Army of the Dam leverage enough in Mythic Plus. Army of Dam is quite popular to run at the moment because our Army of the Dead cooldowns is str so strong, and Army of the Dam makes it much shorter. What do you see a lot of people doing is not using Army of the Dead enough. You need to be greedy with using it, okay? Just press it on cooldown pretty much, right? You will be amazed by how quickly you get it up again, and then you can just use it on a boss or whatever. Obviously, there are cases, if you really know your route, it's going to be easy to time it properly, but with Bloodlust and the Prideful buff, you want to have Army for that specific occasion, so then it can be worth the hold, but generally, you can be very greedy, and you will be surprised by how many times you can use this call on and still have it off for bosses as you need it. Alright guys, those are my top 5 mistakes. Uh, I hope you could identify yourself maybe falling into one of these mistakes, one of these traps, so this guide helped you improve yourself. You know, fixing out these mistakes will result in significant DPS upgrades, and I feel like... Um, or I hope that a lot of you can improve your DPS by have watch, having watched this video. If you do have any questions or anything to say, do leave them down in the comment section below. Do leave an upvote, downvote, depending on what you thought about this video. Uh, do check me out on Twitch whenever I'm streaming. It's uh, twitch.tv slash pump with a 1 instead of I. There's a link in the description. Also, do consider subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content. Also, you can always ping me on Dacris Discord. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more content. Thank you.